Hi, this is a movie clip about how to work with Google Docs in the cloud, how to make a copy, how do you rename your document, how to work on your new document, and how to download a copy of your document to save it locally to your computer as a Word document or as a PDF. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a copy of this shared Google document. We go to File, Make a Copy, and this is going to make a copy of the whole document, so we're going to click OK. Once we have a copy of our document, this is going to be named Copy of, Copy, Rename and Download, that's the name of my document. So if I want to rename this, I'm going to click once on the title and I'm going to write a new name, for example, Document, Your Grade, and Your Name. And we're going to click OK. And that's the new name for our document. The next thing that you do is you work on your Google document. Google documents are accessible from anywhere in the world and has an internet connection. So you can save multiple copies of documents and work on it consistently anywhere where you can be connected. So let's make some changes. Since we have already done this, I'm going to change the font color and boldface it. I'm going to highlight this. And this one that we are just working on now, I'm going to change the font color to white and change the background. So once you make all the changes you need to make, we are ready to download our document and save it locally to our computer. We can download this document as a dot .doc. <coughs> if you would like to continue editing it on a Microsoft Word, for example, application. If you just would like to share it via email or post and, and share or submit, I suggest you use a PDF, which is a portable document format. So to download your Google document and save it to your computer, we are going to do File, Download as, and here you have all the options that you can choose. This is open office format, PDF, rich text format, plain text. This plain text will take away all editing and fancy colors or any makeup that you did to your document, or a Word document. So I suggest we download it as a PDF, and it's downloaded here, and I have it in my downloads folder. Once you have it in your download folder, you can just open it and see what it looks like in a PDF environment in Adobe Acrobat. So hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching.